yada, 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 yada. I had a dream about you. She was like, whoa. Let's go to the bathroom. She said, let's go to the bathroom. I took you off. I said, whoa. <clears throat> Okay, I was waiting for my spot, now I got this. I made to your top five, that's a top six. I refuse to keep saying that it's my time. Don't that shit sound like a side bitch? Send a text message to my side chick. She sent a text back where it's my dick. I'm a side hoes, got flip phones, old school bitch, you ain't about to screenshot shit If I pull up and something, it'll work out You do pull ups for nothing, it don't work out I need a pull up or something if I splurge out Hot shit on everybody till I turned out, uh Lately I've been posting in my birdhouse Niggas parrot my flow, I hear a chirp out So I put they canary, she gobbled a worm in the seeds I will leave and she burp out, uh. Alright, welcome to uh, a very unorthodox episode of We Ain't No Stupids it's a lot of firsts here. It's the first time it's only one member of the podcast and also the first telephone interview we have jumping off. And it's uh, me, the Zen Master, and on the phone all the way in Philly is... Introduce yourself, motherfucker. This boy, what should I call myself? Nah, I'm gonna just keep it. <laughs> My name is Marcus. That's it. That's all you need to know. Nigga, you got like a thousand AKAs. Just pull one out the hat, nigga. Say what? So you got a thousand AKAs. Pull one out the house, nigga. Just pull up. This. AKA Fresh. AKA Snoop. AKA uh, What It Do. AKA <laughs> Brand New. <laughs> AKA Brother Good Manners, goddammit. <laughs> yeah, AKA I look like Brother Good Manners. <laughs> 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 That's funny, though. Okay, hey, brother, good man. Let me keep that one though. Yeah, nigga, look just like goddamn. What, what's your what's your Instagram name so niggas can look you up on Instagram and then Google brother polite and see y'all niggas as twins. <laughs> and I ain't bullshit. <laughs> Give me your Instagram, nigga. What's your Instagram? Instagram is at uh, what is it? Oh, at fresh underscore since eighty five. That's, That's it. fresh underscore since eighty five. Yes. All right. First thing I want to talk about is uh. I I be ignoring a lot of bullshit. This Soldier Boy and Chris Brown thing happened, and I wasn't paying no mind. But then I, I found a, a silver lining in it, so I just want to go ahead and. How, t- how can you not pay any attention? Like it's so stupid. I mean, Soldier Boy, he's a marketing genius. I, I give him that. Like he knows how to get attention. But he did not pay no mind to that whole thing. Like he was not paying attention. So he just he needs attention. So. Just reaches out for it. But my thing about it is, why don't you keep apologizing? <laughs> like, yo, like, I'm apologizing. You make yourself look real weak. Hey, what did, uh, what, what started it? Because I put it to, like, I've been uh, ignoring it until I found out there was a boxing match. And then I started paying attention from there. So I don't know what started yeah, the uh, shit. Soldier Boy commented on a, on a Karuchi. Uh, I, I think I'm saying her name right. Karuchi's, uh, Instagram post and supposedly Chris Brown called him and said yo uh, what you doing for the comment and then, you know, whatever whatever I guess being jealous and all that shit they just had words that's supposedly how I started I don't know oh so basically Chris Brown still fighting over the girl cause he been yeah I guess I mean, this gotta be like the third time he's been in the news over fighting over that girl I guess that nigga Chris Brown think yo Mine, always mine. I don't know. <laughs> oh, so he on his Ike Turner shit. I just think, like, Soulja Boy's taking it too far. Like, never trying to prove his hardness, if you want to say. Like, yes. He's going out there to cop him and trying to hang out with people, you know what I mean? Running around camping, nigga. Yeah. I mean, so uh, like, that, that footage looked kind of fake to me. Did it look fake to you, too? Like, he's like, yeah, he's got. I, I, I think it was real fake. I, I said that um, early to one of my people. But I, I think that, that was all fake. And to mention, he's he's not from around them parts, so it's like yeah, like come on, bro, you from like ain't he from Atlanta or something like that? Yeah, he be from some yeah something like that. Yeah, you got there from he from some soldier boy from the hood, like you're not from that hood, <laughs> like to get out of here. Like, 
The one good thing that I see coming out of this is um, what got what caught my eye was I was uh, scrolling on Instagram yesterday and I uh, saw a poster for a boxing match and it said "Guns Down, Gloves Up," and yeah. I thought it was a joke until motherfuckers started like posting training videos and shit and I'm like, oh, these niggas is really fighting. And then I looked into it like, oh, they got the date set. Like, this is real shit. Yeah, oh yeah, Chris is a fucking athlete. So yeah, this going this this ain't gonna be fair. And Chris Brown got Mike Tyson in this corner already. Mike Tyson has stepped up and said he's gonna train Chris Brown. So this is gonna be an ass woman. This ain't gonna be fair. Yeah, that's gonna be a good old VA ass woman. <laughs> <laughs> the VA home, you know what I mean? The whole time. The whole turf. Hey, hey, nigga, I got damn. I'm nice with the hands, my damn. So I'm 138. God damn it, don't, <laughs> don't let this vegan life fool you. God damn it. All right. I, I can show you some shit. Yeah, but it's like, I mean, and then Soulja Boy just makes himself look stupid. Like, why would he? Did you see the shit when he was calling out Shia LaBeouf? No. Nah. Oh yeah, no, I did. I, I've heard of it. Like I said, I I uh I ignored the dumb shit, but yeah, I heard the audio yeah, of it on the radio. He, he, he makes some Instagram posts. Oh, Shia LaBeouf, you a bitch ass nigga. You ain't allowed in the, the hood to Atlanta. So a guy on uh, Facebook, he makes a video and he says, yo, does Shia LaBeouf look like he wants to be in the hood in Atlanta? Yeah. <laughs> so, like, no, he doesn't. Like, it's Shia LaBeouf. Like, what are you doing? The nigga's like, the so, Disney Channel star. Yeah, like, come on. Like, call him out Shia LaBeouf. Like, come on, are you ready? The dude from home? Are you serious? <laughs> like, get out of here. Bumblebee's homeboy? That's what you calling out, nigga? Like, yeah, like, you know what I mean? Like, seeing in this is yeah they're gonna raise a whole lot of money for uh whatever charity they do it for but on top of that this is the uh the the era of the challenges like whatever these fucking celebrities do these kids redo it and call it a fucking challenge so i was so i'm seeing this can turn into like motherfuckers stopping all the ignorant shit and being like well nigga come see me in the ring and so i can see motherfuckers like popping up and this being the example to set as to you got a problem with a motherfucker put the gloves on and stop the bitch ass drive bys and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, then again, niggas ain't done drive bys since like the 90s, but you know, me being an old <laughs> nigga, you know what I'm saying? Just drive bys are stuck in your head and shit because we old and shit. Like, <laughs> but you know, just, you know, just stop with the silly shit and just, you know, put on, you got, you got a problem, set a date, put on the gloves, you know what I mean? Train Precious. up, get some discipline, you know? Well, who's gonna follow a training soldier boy in it? First of all, he needs to stop calling himself soldier boy. Okay, like, <laughs> that shit just really fucking bothers me. Your whole grown ass man calling himself Soldier Boy with a J. Well, no, nah, but honestly, what you're saying that there is already a Soldier Boy challenge where people are going online and just making ignorant ass fucking diss videos to whatever the fuck and acting like Soldier Boy. Yeah, that, that, that's just stupid. Right? Yeah. I, mean, he, I mean, like I say, he's a marketing genius. He's just making himself relevant, but in the wrong way, like, I guess. If he's going to fight some people that really want to fuck him up, and once you realize how real they are, he's going to apologize. Like, yeah. if you see Chris Brown's videos, Chris Brown don't get mad. He's like, really, so the boy, like, really. Like, he jokes about it. But the only time Chris Brown got mad is when Soulja Boy put up a picture of his daughter. That's when Chris Brown got serious. He's like, yo, stop fucking with me. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, he really fuck you up. You keep involving my daughter and this shit. Like, that's when Chris Brown really got mad. But I mean, like, is he is he really a marketing genius, or is he just doing stupid shit? No one really want to flock to it anyway. Like, you know, like is it just like, cause it seems kind of simple. Like, you see what Orlando Brown doing. Like, he see Orlando Brown. He's like, you know what? 
I'm gonna do something stupid. Like I don't think it's like very genius. It's just like you see Lando Brown acting like an ass and get a bunch of attention. Well, it ain't too yeah. genius to have to you know to think, hey, let me act like an ass too. That's not very genius. It's just like nah, copy Lando paste. Brown was out of the spotlight too damn long. It took me a while to realize who he was. Like yo, who the hell is this? Like and then I saw, I was like, oh, that's the dude coming through the years. He played on Jamie Foxx and. Uh, he played on uh, all little random shows and shit. Yeah, like, Major Pain. Yeah, you know, Family Matters and all that. Oh, damn, he was little Richie Homeboy, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, no, he had the one to fight the Yeah, so, he, and then, on top of that, he looks like he's been smoking crack since he's been off the scene. Like, nah. But I ain't, I don't, yeah, Mark and Genius, I don't know. I don't, let me take my words back. Not Mark and Genius. He just, I'll say this, he's trying to keep himself relevant. Okay, I can dig that. Yeah, he knows how to keep himself relevant. He does, does it's it dumb stuff, but I guess it was building up to this. They was like, all right, we got to do, he's doing dumb stuff, let's stage a fight. That's it. And everybody knows Kirk Brown is nice with the hands. Like they say, he took karate, he, he's been boxing for a couple of years, so I don't know. It might get, I don't know what's going to be capable of, but it might get, I don't know. All right, let's uh, go on to the next topic here. Uh, I was watching this uh, YouTube video, and it was entitled, like, uh, it was a couple years old, too. It was a woman gets harassed 100 times in one hour. <laughs> Have you seen this video? No, I haven't seen it. You said she gets harassed? She oh, get... oh, yeah, yeah, the white girl walking down the sidewalk. Yeah, I did see that. <laughs> yeah, and uh, from the title, I was like, oh, my God, this is terrible. Men are so horrible. Let me watch this video and see how disgusting men are. But when I click play, 90% of the niggas is just saying, hello, how beautiful, hey, gorgeous, and that's it. So I'm thinking, like... I don't want to get out of hand, though. Like, some, some people did and say some crazy stuff to it. I mean, yeah, but they was ringing the bell for high. So they say harassment is harassment. So it's like, you know... It's like, well, the nigga that touched her hand and shit, okay, cool, that's harassment. The nigga that's like, damn, you ain't gonna speak and, like, follow her around. Yeah, that's harassment. But, like, yeah. they also run the bell when a nigga said, hey, how you doing? Bing! Yeah. What? I was wondering if I like to take you out of something. She was like, she said something smart to her. Like, that's not harassment. <laughs> yeah. But you mm. gotta think she was white, though, so, you know, just scared. <laughs> well, and that's a... Well, that's another thing, too, is that, uh, so after watching the video, because I watched it at work, and um, I had asked the lady that I worked with, and I was just like, hey, is it harassment if a dude just say hi? She's like, yep. That's harassment? Yeah, basically. And then she started talking about, like, she'll go out to the bar and just want to be by herself and drink, but it don't, you know what I'm saying, but niggas always got to come and speak and all this, and she's like, yeah, you're harassing me, da 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 I'm like, wait a minute, what? How is that harassment? That means you get harassed every single time, like, you step out of the house. Yeah, so like if your neighbor says, "Hey, how you doing?" Stop laughing, me, damn it! Like yeah, basically. Like, like, so uh, yeah. after fucking debating back and forth with her about it, and not really like the big kind of debating and finding trying to find out where the line is, it sounded like to me, it like because I was just like, "How do you?" So how do I? How you supposed to approach a woman and whatever? And she was basically saying like, if there was some kind of eye contact ahead of time before you spoke, then cool. Yeah. So I'm like, so basically what you're saying is whether I'm harassing you or not ain't got shit to do with me and my approach. It has everything to do with whether you want me to talk to you or not. So yeah. an ugly dude and a good looking dude can walk up to a girl and both just say hi. The ugly dude's harassing the good looking dude is, 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 isn't. You know what I'm saying? And it's like... Yeah, it's love at first sight with that thing. Yo, 
persistent with them fucking, and she just fucking not paying you no attention, then you, you really be harassing. <laughs> that's fucking going too far with it. Yeah, I, I agree with that too. That's the and, and it's like when I clicked on the video, that's the kind of shit I was expecting to see. Yeah, uh, but the one dude that was harassing her, the one dude that was walking beside her for like five blocks. What I was saying, nothing. Yeah, that shit happened to her right. twice. That was that fuck harassment. That's stalking. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like nigga, you walking directly beside her. Like they could have been holding hands. I was like, how do you walk beside somebody that long? Like that shit was crazy. Like, nigga, if you ain't work up the, yeah, you ain't work up the courage after a block, motherfucker. You, <laughs> you had to go ahead doing a about face on that ass, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Start over, hit the reset button, go back to where you started from, and yeah. Because like, yeah, like, you can find somebody else and try to, you know what I mean, work up the courage again. Damn, bro, you want to find somebody from home, like five blocks? What I'm saying, nothing. You need to go read some goddamn some motivational books and shit. Look in the mirror and say I am somebody a couple times. Yeah. Like, you need to start back from the beginning. Go back to Dr. Seuss get your rhyme game up. Oh no, no, no. You know Dr. Seuss starts part. I mean, try to some rhyme. You, know what I'm you walk up to the honey's like one fish, two fish. She was man. We had a very lengthy conversation on um, trying to what find. Is, what does your coworker look like? I don't know. Uh, ask a better question. Like, what do you? What do you? What do you? No, okay, my fault. Is she attractive? Is she ugly? What? Like, would you? I mean, uh, because my coworkers listen to this, <laughs> I'm not answering that question. But let's just say, <laughs> I believe her when she says she get a bunch of baby. Can I buy you a drink? I say that. I, I completely uh-huh. believe she can't go out to the bar without getting a get damn baby. Can I please? Wait, wait a minute. <laughs> you got a whole bunch of drunk niggas that see girls and be like, yeah, I'm trying to hit that. Let me go over there. Well, is she that one or is she really a yo baby? Let me buy you a drink and get this, this conversation started. Yeah, she's Which a really she, she's really a let me buy this drink and get this conversation started. Okay, I mean, so I mean, I get it. No, nah, she's still not getting harassed just by speaking. Like, nah, you saying hello, like, come on, that's harassment. Like, you go to court, what did you do? And he said hello. Like, what? <laughs> what did he say I said? But I'm talking, th- yeah, but I'm thinking this is like a, uh, uh, I, I, I'm, th- I'm starting to think that the majority of the women think like this, because I can think of a bunch of times where it's like, we didn't get turned down abruptly and rudely, and it's like, this give you you ever like try to approach a woman and she responds with such hostility that you wonder what the fuck you done did wrong like damn that we are we beefing like why are you yeah, I got spinach in my teeth yeah. like shit what did I do wrong do we know each other <laughs> like, shit. yeah so it was like, like everybody everybody been turned down before but it just depends on how you handle it after that like again we go back to that strip I mean you see dudes get turned down they be like man forget you there bitch like Damn, bro. Like, but you just, in your mind, you just had a baby with this girl. <laughs> in your mind, you just put the ring on her. But now she said, no, it's forget you then, bitch. Like, which one is it, bro? <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, so it's like, I'm starting to think that um the the key to a lot of that mean response we be getting is 50% niggas ain't got no game, and 50% women take all speaking as harassment. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Nah. nah, cause the shit it kind of makes shit make sense. I mean, I, I was like thinking about like the coldest I've been turned down, and it's like okay, that shit makes sense. But it's like it's, it's a weird story because like the hardest I've ever been turned down was a time when I wasn't trying to holler, and I really like it kind of like pissed me off because I was, actually I was. I mean, let me tell the story. But it was just so damn cold that I was thinking like, damn, suppose I was trying to get down. Start build a future with you, motherfucker. Like suppose I could be your goddamn soulmate, motherfucker. How you? 
<laughs> so what happened? This is like way back. I say probably like 2006. And I was um I was in the Walmart on Military Highway. It was like midnight, some shit, and I was like getting my groceries or whatever. Cause you know I'm a night person. Let's, let's start right there. Uh-huh. Why were you in the military? Uh, for people that are from Virginia, 757 area, why were you in military Walmart at midnight? Uh, come on, see that. Okay, uh, <laughs> back. Uh, Cause back then I was working in Domino's and uh, you. Probably ain't getting off work till ten o'clock. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you go home and you ain't got no groceries, nigga. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I was living on um, I was living on um Diamond Springs, so it was just you know, where else am I gonna get groceries from? But you, you wish your life trying to get shot over some damn groceries. Go ahead. I gotta do what I gotta do. I got two choices: risk <laughs> risk starvation or risk getting shot. I, I took my chances, nigga. I rolled the dice. I won. <laughs> <laughs> I was um I was in one of the aisles. I don't really remember which aisle I was in, but I heard something drop. And well, actually, let me rephrase that. First, I saw her. She was bad as a motherfucker, and she was by herself, and she pushing the cart. And you know they got down, they you know they got damn that slow. Is this the right aisle walk? She had, so. <laughs> Yeah, so she was like, got, yeah, that, that walk. yeah, so she was on the aisle for a minute. And I was goddamn, so yeah, I, so I was looking, and I know she saw me looking because I was looking the whole time she was in the goddamn aisle. And we had passed, we had crossed paths and shit. And then, like, oh, as no, I'm about no, to leave the aisle, no, I heard. No, no. That's harassment, but go ahead. Let me hear it Go ahead. Right up, but uh, I heard something drop. Like I said, because I won't want to approach her. Because I'm just like, yeah, I don't know. Whatever, but anyway, I heard something drop. I looked, the motherfucker dropped the keys. Hey, you know me, I don't, I don't put no pep in my step. Like, I'm chilling. So I slowly walk, get because she, her, she dropped the keys and went to a different aisle. So walk, got her keys, went to the next aisle, and I'm walking up to her, and I'm like, I approach her from behind. I'm like, excuse me, and she like turned and looked at me, and said ha, and then turned back around. No, no, no. She said no. And then turned around and was like, ha. Huh. Like, and kept walking. And when she did it, I was just like, now I'm trying to get this motherfucker her keys. So my first thought was like, fuck it. Turn around with her keys in my pocket and just leave and toss her keys somewhere that damn way. That was my first thought. What kind of keys was it? I don't know. I didn't. That's just how I am. Like, if I, when I give people their shit back, I just. It, if it ain't none of my business, I don't investigate. So I just. She dropped the keys. I picked them up. These like these are hers. That's all I need to know. <laughs> yeah, cause I mean, dude, dude, I done been walking in the fucking parking lot. Somebody dropped a wad of twenties. I ain't counting them shits. I just picked it up and gave it back to her. You know what I'm saying? Keep in mind, I didn't know it was a wad of twenties at the time. I just thought it was a twenty. Then I picked it up and it was thick, but I still ain't counting it. I just gave it to the motherfucker. But <laughs> I was able to hit. Yeah, you know I'm saying. <laughs> so um, yeah. So I was just like, I tell you, I had a whole bunch go through my mind. I was like, man, I'm about to just. Turn around, keep the keys, then throw them shits out the window on the way home. Fuck this bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then I was like, I should just drop these motherfuckers and turn around and keep moving. But I was like, all right, cool. Let me be nice. So I said, I said, yo, did you drop your keys? And then she turned around and, oh, and it was just like, a, she just went from fucking evil to angel in like two seconds. Like, oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't thank me now, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't try to be nice and shit. Yeah. Try to butter you up now. Oh my gosh, yeah, you're a lifesaver. Yeah, you know. We, and keep in mind, this is from, this is, and, and that response she had of no, it didn't turn around laughing and shit. That was off of me saying, excuse me. That's a very conceited woman. That's all to it. A very conceited shit. She makes you look all good. Turn brother down. She could have just. Friends on your ass real quick. <laughs> yeah. the friends on. Gave me a fake number or something. Had that out of your mind. Yeah. Take it back but, to the but just, Yeah, but just straight up no and ha from a nigga saying, excuse me. I ain't even asking no questions, motherfucker. What you mean, no? <laughs> no to what? What are you saying no to? In your mind, you want the car to be where you're at. Like, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> 
in that situation, I probably would have got away with it because I had the keys and shit. These your keys, bitch? Oh, 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 my goodness. <laughs> Oh like, yeah, women, women ain't shit too. That's not, yeah. you know what I'm saying. But I ain't, I ain't trying to harass them. Kind of felt like special. Sure, <laughs> 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 yeah, but I ain't trying to harass them. Like, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna do it again. The only <laughs> thing I don't like about when girls be on they silly shit that women have like no game. Like women do not know how to approach. They be saying the corniest, wackiest shit. But we gotta be nice, otherwise their confidence gets crushed. Remember, so what's the uh, what's what's the coldest way you ever been turned down when you uh, try to get the digits? Uh, well, my parents put me on the spot. I got a thing. Oh, uh, real quick. Uh, oh, fresh don't get turned down. Okay. Uh, oh no, 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 She tried, oh, she she tried to immediately friend zone you like from the yeah, first conversation. Like, right during the conversation, she said, "I need a friend like you." I'm like, "A friend? Like, nah, that's not what's happening." Like, she was on some switch shit, but I come to find out her boyfriend was in there. Like, so it was crazy. I don't know. I put me on the spot. I gotta think of some. some I know how to turn down like, worse than that. Yeah, cause that's kind of tame right there. That's a, I take that. I'd have been yeah, like. Yeah. So that I took that. Like, oh, yeah, well, let's be friends. Give me about a month. Yeah, I got to make it at home, though. That's not just either to a woman. That's not how I actually That's just how I speak and be a I can't be a gentleman no more and shit. All right, well, let's, say, well then let's flip it because we're saying that uh, women harass, too. So let's let's flip it to um, what's what's a cold-ass way you've responded to a woman when she tried to holler at you? Like when a girl try to holler at me, uh, yeah, and it's like some some mean shit you do or said or did or said because you ain't want no parts. Man, I was in the subway one time, and this girl said, "I, I don't." Hold know on, wait a minute. I like how I like how quickly you came up with this one because it was like oh, the yeah, last yeah, one. So, I, 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 I say, I say, I say, I say, tell me by the time you got turned down, man, I can't think of nothing. Well, tell me by the time you had to turn some pussy down. Well, nigga, let me tell you about this bitch. <laughs> I was like, you know what I mean? I'll be seeing you around, yada, yada, yada. I had a dream about you. She was like, Whoa. I'm going to the bathroom. She said, I'm going to the bathroom. I took you off. I said, Whoa. Damn. I said, You don't know me from nowhere. You don't know my name. You know nothing. I said, How many dicks have you stuck in that bathroom? <laughs> 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 Hold on, wait a minute. Was Perfect. this was this uh Perfect. was this somebody that worked there? Yeah, but it was one of the employees. I'm like, no, like you fucking kid. Like she was up front by herself. You know how I felt with daddy walking in and she yeah, was yeah, yeah. He just told me how when she was like, man, I gotta get a little bit of 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 just, like, I had a dream about you, you know what I mean? I told myself next time I saw you, you know, whatever, better. She was like, come to the bathroom, I'm like, I'm like, what? <laughs> like, are you serious? I came in for a turkey club. <laughs> 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 some community head, everybody probably ran this game, or got there. Everything in the organization. Like, fuck out of here. But, yeah, oh, that's, that's some scary shit. Yeah, I mean, so when was, was this recently? This was like years ago.
she came at me the wrong way. Like, literally, just wrong as fuck. Like, I mean, all right, I'm home. I was at the turkey club. I didn't give a damn about this guy. <laughs> Did you? Did you still eat eat there after that? Or did you just avoid that subway altogether? Oh well, no, I definitely did eat there after that. That's, that's not gonna stop me. I've seen her after that. <laughs> like, so what was was it awkward yeah. after that shit? No, she um followed me on Facebook and started dropping the news in my inbox. All that stuff. I mean, I she a young girl or like she older? What the fuck? Like this is this sounds like a chick or something. Yeah, she was young. She had to be like around twenty. Yeah. And come to find out, she lived with her dude. Like she was fucking crazy. Yeah. Sound like she had some supreme daddy issues right there. That shit sounds. That's crazy. That's supreme daddy. Supreme daddy. She just don't get no higher than that. Yeah, that means she got that super high something way fucked up. He did more than just abandon that motherfucker. He must have like. Oh yeah, I'm the king of that shit. Like I don't, I don't make eye contact. None of that. I don't know. Yeah, a little bit more like this. A little bit. No more tomatoes. Give me some pickles. I'm out of here. Yeah. Give me three open raisins. Take these and I'll freak out. We don't even know what they look like. Shit. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't even, don't even know that they didn't already took your order before. Just walk in there. It's like you like the veggie yeah. shit, right? Like, oh shit, yeah. They know I'm a vegetarian here. I must come here too much because I have no idea <laughs> who these people are. Yeah, you what she uh, what she look like? Was she like worth a damn? Was she ugly or something? Cause that would also. Nah, she was heavy set, a little bit too heavy set to me. <laughs> you know what okay, I mean? that... like she was like cold brown heavy set, like it's like you know cold okay. brown like. The... So she got <laughs> damn. She she big Sir, she big Shirley over here. That's what. Yeah, yeah big Shirley. Nah, I don't do the big Shirley. Okay, alright. <laughs> that makes Yeah, that makes more sense than the daddy issues. So you yeah, combine daddy issues with her being like okay, cool. Alright. You ever dated somebody that was clingy? Clingy? Hell yeah, man. She was crazy as shit. That shit's not clingy. It's just crazy as fuck. Like up oh, man, okay. this girl's crazy as hell. Alright, how long did it take you to realize she was crazy? So was it one of those times where she was perfectly sane at first, and then like after yeah, a couple months? Yeah, she was months- perfectly sane at first, but when she got clingy, it, that crazy shit just set in. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I, I'd be in the club, and girls act like they broke into you at the club. Like, oh, I didn't know you was going to be here. This shit, okay, yo, I told you. I called you. This shit told you I was going to the club. And what club I was coming to, and you were at, oh, I didn't know you was going to come in. And then, like, they follow, like, not follow you around, but they make sure they keep the eye on you and shit. And then, like, you know that. I don't like, do clubs, so like, everything you're saying is, like, new to me. So I'm just, I ain't going to say it in front. Like, oh, yeah, they do that. I don't know. I don't do clubs. Yeah, nah, yeah. They, 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 they act like they pumping it to you. They got one homegirl with them because the whole group could come. Like, but they, they got one of, out of their group that come with her to the club and shit. Oh, you mean, like, the first episode of Insecure? <laughs> So like, so how how deep were y'all into whatever? Was was, was it a relationship? Was it like y'all were going together? Nah, were y'all just... and, nah, we was still in the talking phase. Like a couple of months into the talking phase, she got down like this was like just like she she was putting her work in, cooking and all that stuff. But then like like my free time became our time. I'm like, yo, like she like you going to work today? I'm coming over. Like 
Nah, I thought I would play basketball, sure. <laughs> like, play your own, shit. Like, did she, uh, did she, huh? did she seem crazy before or after you smashed? I think, yeah, it was after. You know, they were crazy off of the chocolate, kind of, you know, the chocolate brother. Hold on, see, that's a, that's another thing I'll be wondering. Is it like, because you know, because you know your viewpoint on a woman kind of changes after you smash. I'll be wondering, like, yeah. do, do girls be crazy the whole time and we just don't notice until after we fuck? Or do, uh, after or, we smash. After we smashed, they realized what they got. They like, oh yeah, this is mine. Fuck that. I had one girl with half them tell me after I smashed, I've been not ever fucking none of the bitch. I mean, like that's kind of like normal. Like it just that's some heat of the no, moment shit. Said, did she I say that? Like, like did she say that? Like afterwards, like not nowhere near the sex. Like three days later or something. Y'all just having a regular conversation. No, I was talking about like moments after we finished. Yeah, that's normal. Said, that's normal. That's not, she that's, said, you better not fuck her. Nobody else won't cut your dick off. Oh you know, shit! Right now. <laughs> okay, I didn't hear the cut the dick off thing. I just heard don't fuck yeah, nobody else. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, okay. The the don't fuck nobody else is normal. The cutting dick off, that's not yeah. normal. I didn't hear the cutting dick off. Yeah, that, that man, shit. Some girl you just want me fucking crazy out of me. It's crazy as shit. Bitch, so that to me, like, she might not wake up the next morning. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's the same. But the back to the girl, the original girl I was talking about, she done tried to like, once I tried to stop talking to her, she let me a pop up at my crib. She tried to run me up the road one time, like I was pulling out the neighborhood. And she tried to like let me hit my car and shit. And I was like, man, this girl crazy as shit. And then she called me, I just want to spend time with you. Like, what? You just try to hit my car. You call me, you want to spend time. So, um, so, how, so how did you get rid of her? Uh, how did I stop talking to her? I can't hear her doing Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. That's what you did? You moved to Philly? That's how you got rid of her? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, she was that bad? Yeah, she was that bad. You just want, you know, girl crazy when they need voicemails and shit. Then when he texts me, when a girl leave a voicemail, yeah, she was crazy. That'd be straight. She did the time I let the phone ring eight times. You fucking voicemail? Yeah, that'd be straight. They heard your voicemail going off and stayed through that shit. Heard the beep and said, yeah. you know what? I got shit on my mind. Yeah, I'm going to listen to all of that. I'm going to listen to this phone ring 16 times. Listen to the little white lady say that he's not available at the time. And say all of this shit on this damn voicemail. And then she was so fucking crazy. You got your voicemail cut off like after a minute. Like that shit cut off and fucking she would still be talking like, you know what I mean? Like it would cut her off and then... And, I mean, she had hella shit on her mind. Like, hella shit left. Like, bitch, please. Like, usually when you just, like, want to leave an Irish voice, they like, fuck you, man, you know, ain't shit, and hang up. She was going in on my voice, bro. So you ain't got no, um, you, you ain't got no advice for anybody dealing with a clingy chick and how to get rid of her? You just no, move just, to Philly, that's your advice? That's it, no. You just move out the so. <laughs> Nah, baby, if you deal with a clingy chick, you know what I mean? You better let her know ahead of time that you ain't with all that clingy shit. Let her know, like, yo, chill, dude. Like, nah, we're not chilling today. Get a break for her out of that clingy shit. If you let her be clingy, that's what she's gonna be. It's like, I don't wanna compare a woman to a puppy or shit. It's like training a puppy, like, you're training a dog. Like, they do what you allow them to do. It's everything with men. Like, we get away with what y'all allow. Like, I haven't seen some women let us niggas treat them dirty as shit because they allow that shit. You know what I'm saying? There's like some niggas can treat women dirty as hell and they just sit there for it. But if a nigga try to return some goddamn car keys, you get the cold <laughs> shoulder. It's just, you, 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 you're right. You get what you allow. That nigga's you know a classic. Yeah, that nigga's a fucking devil. <laughs> Wait fucking, oh my gosh. Alright, well, uh, well, that's uh, that's all the topics I had. Anything else you want to um, throw in there? Any 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 topics you want to discuss, my brother? Oh, I don't know, man. How much time I got left? Man? Discuss. I mean, we got a couple uh, minutes. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, 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 I don
Sen kan jag älska det som jag tror att vi klarar det där. Jag kan ta det Oh, well, break it down, brother. This, 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 this would be interesting. My personal experience, man, VA ain't nothing but, like, niggas, like, just hating on niggas. Like, you could be... But hold on. Niggas. But hold on. I'm hearing the same thing about Philly, though. No, I, well, I haven't lived here long enough to know that, but VA, it's like, it comes in a physical form. <laughs> like, okay. I don't know, man. Well, like, plenty listen. of people... Plenty of people have made it out of Philly, like as far as rapping and singing, and got the support from their friends and shit. But I haven't seen niggas down there that's trying to rap, trying to sing, and they don't even get the support from their friends. Their friends won't share their shit on Facebook or Instagram or try to push their shit. I mean, it, it's crazy. But up here, if I find out somebody rap, I can see their friends out here, like, you know what I mean, doing whatever to let me push their talent. But you know that 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 also just I hate the sidebar your uh, Philly versus VA thing. But um, that remind me. It's kind of like this thing that as an artist myself, one of the things I like more I like fans more than supporters. So it's like my friends can be my friends because it's like yeah, they're, they're gonna be your friends and your yeah. supporters anyway. But when you have a fan, I mean, they took the time out to be your fan. Yeah, you like, know what I mean. You know, so it's like your, your fans friends are supposed to be your fan. But yeah, so you like your talent. Yeah, so it's like your fans like wanna be the ones that share your shit more than your supporters. Because like, you know, somebody that's supporting you, they kinda doing it because they think they're supposed to. They don't really do it because they just want to. You know what I'm saying? And it's like yeah. so I can I can let that type of shit slide. Like if if I put some shit out and my friends don't post it up everywhere and stuff, because they're not gonna because they're not gonna promote it correctly anyway. Cause they don't even, you know what I'm saying? They don't they ain't feeling it. So when we drop a podcast, it's like I don't want like how my sister doesn't listen to every episode. So if I, she was to tell recommend it, she wouldn't know what to say because she really don't fuck with it like that. She wouldn't know how to get people to listen to it. But you, on the other hand, because you listen to the shit, you know to be like, oh man, they had this crazy shit about a fucking tomato. These niggas is hilarious. They was arguing about a fucking tomato in a clean, dirty shirt, nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? So. Somebody's it's gonna listen. You said clean, dirty shirt though. You know what I'm saying? The shirt is not dirty though. <laughs> <laughs> but it was because it was a clean tomato. See, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, <laughs> you know, so it's like your your fans will promote it better than somebody supporting you because like so people support at a quote unquote uh, obligation. Obligation. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's so, right, yeah. but anyway, go ahead with your with more on uh, Philly. Like, when I was standing in Virginia, man, I've been seeing like niggas that actually call. They boys friends, they, 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 oh, this is my boy, this is my friend, you know what I mean, and be backstabbers. Be like, you know what I mean, like, be, be your friends do the most harm to you in, that, in Virginia. It's, I don't know how it is everywhere else, because I, I haven't lived everywhere else, but Virginia is just, like, wow, I know it can't be like this. And, and then it's so bad, because it's that little small section of Virginia that people, are, like, tell you that you ain't gonna make it doing this, you ain't gonna make it doing that. Well, let's, then, let's specify, do you mean, uh, seven five seven only, or are you talking about the whole Virginia that you've seen so far? No, I just mean the seven five seven. Like, okay, man, right. seven five seven. He just like I've heard like people. You gotta leave there to make it, and people don't like, and they wonder why people don't return because I mean, it's crazy. It, it's it's funny. Uh, who was it? Timberland and Magoo. They made it. Where and they kept traveling the world, performing. Where did they get booed at? The scope. Virginia. <laughs> yeah, in Virginia, how do you get booed at home? Wow, you're hot. They were hot. You but to be, home. but to be fair, they booed Magoo. They didn't boo Timberland. Why though? This is a man that made it from Virginia. Why are you booing this man? And then you bought a ticket to go boo? Are you serious? Like that's that's stupid. Like, no, I mean, it's just, it's just stupid, man. Like, I don't, I don't understand yeah. that shit. That's a good point, like, too, because it's, like, another thing that get me is, um, like, how I never heard of drum until Cha-Cha had a million views. And it was just, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then somebody told me, like, yeah, he from Hampton. I'm like, what? This nigga been here this whole yeah. time? I heard, yeah, yeah. Because I, I dated a girl, she said that's her, uh, her son her baby daddy brother or something like that. Yeah, and, um... She'd be on Facebook saying how 
oh no, I can't hear your mixtapes and he won't, you know, he, don't send me no more your mixtapes in my inbox, so I'm going to let him hear it, whatever. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. But, you know what I mean? It's just, like, Virginia, it's just hate, 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 hate. Like, it's just crazy how, like, people are hate on you. Yeah, but, uh... Some people don't even, don't even give you a chance. Like, they, they're just like, oh, you corny. I don't want the show. How many times me and you don't went to a show? And people not even listening. They just, oh, whatever. They go out on a smoke break. They won't even give the artist on stage a chance. Well, I also yeah. feel on that, that, that happens. But to me, it's like... The shit that I've seen that happen, I've seen it happen at battles. I really haven't seen it happen on like when people performing, like a show with a bunch of motherfuckers performing and shit. I don't really see that that much. Yeah. It may happen, but I see it more in the battles. And with me, I kind of feel like a piece of that is, I'm not going to say like a piece of it. What it really is, is like people not really doing research on where they are and what they're doing. You know, yeah. it's like motherfuckers kind of like have this. Like the 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 the, because speaking on some battle rap shit when it happens, it's like the battlers have a sense of entitlement that they feel like, hey, I'm gonna get on stage, y'all better stop what y'all doing and watch me. But it's like you gotta keep in mind there's a vibe there, so it's like, you can't show up to the the battle starts at two, you're on the card, you don't show up till four o'clock, and the battle can't start until we get there, so you get fans that's been there since two. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got here till four. So we've been chilling. I mean, so the fans been chilling, talking it up, having a good time amongst themselves for like two, three hours before the show start. So when the show start, I'm having a good time having a conversation. And then you get on stage and you have no charisma. You born. And you, it's like, and, and the, to the effect, it's like people give it a chance at first. Like you, they going to give you like the first half of your first, the first half of your first round. Everybody's quiet. That's, that's what I've noticed. And they start talking once they're not being entertained. So it was like, I'm in the middle of a conversation. Because I don't do it. I was just speaking from a fan's point of view. The fans will be in the middle of a conversation. And then they say, okay, a battle about to start. And I'm in the middle of a good conversation. And then the battle starts and the motherfuckers don't introduce themselves. They don't seem like they give a fuck. They don't speak loud enough. And I'm hoping to like stop my good conversation and just I'm like I'm is naturally you're going to go back to the conversation you were having if you're bored and the guy on the stage seems like he's not much fun you're not you're not I'm having the 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 crowd is having more fun talking to each other than listening to you rap you got to think of it like that so it's like and you, they don't and they don't do anything to try to get their attention and it's like there's a reason why I don't have that problem I've never had a chance time where a motherfucker was just talking through my rounds. Because I do all types of stuff to get their attention. Like, I get on stage and just sit on stage before, you know what I'm saying, just make people like, well, who's this nerdy nigga on stage? And then I stand up and I, and I do some silly shit. Like, because they make the, I'm, I'm, I'm doing all this shit to build curiosity and make them go like, what is, who is this nigga? What is he about to do? You know, then I do some more, like, everybody, like, everybody on the card either trying to be hard or trying to be cool. I get on stage like, I am a nerd. I'm going to be a nerd. I'm not cool. And I do some more awkward shit. To the whole crowd, like, hey, how's everybody doing? And throw the fist like black power, my folks, the black power. You know what I'm saying? They do some old silly shit to get people giggling. And like, okay, what's about to happen? You know? Yeah, then I start off. Annoying. Yeah, then I start off with a joke just to make them laugh. And I, now I got their attention. So even if there were people in the back that wasn't paying attention, they're going to hear the people in the front laughing. And now I'm going to, like, they're going to be like, oh, what, what are they laughing at? Is he doing good? You know? Yeah. And now I have their attention. But niggas don't try that no more. They don't, they don't put in that kind of work. They just get on stage and they'd be like, okay, bow to my left. Introduce yourself. Y'all already know who it is. Y'all know. Y'all already, yeah. y'all already know. Norfolk. 757. Yeah, 757. Yeah. Chesapeake. Portsmouth, Norfolk. Yeah. It is what it is. <laughs> and then, like, all right. Now, to my left. I knew, I knew it was a problem when I went to uh, this party one time. It was a big party outside of Hampton University. They had this uh, thing called the Armory. It was a big building. They had a performance, and the performer was Rhyme Fest. This was when he first came up. I'm like, Rhyme Fest? I heard his name before. Big, fat, ugly nigga. Like, you know what I mean? I know these, like, I've heard some of his music. So, he comes out on stage, and the first song he bumps is Brand New. Right. Like, how do you not walk out to that song? So, the song comes on, he, like, he rapping, you know what I mean? And... 
the niggas in the crowd are booing the shit out of him. I mean, to the point you can't even hear his fucking music. But Whoa. the moment Kanye verse came on, oh shit, he got Kanye on the verse. Like, which y'all ain't gonna listen to him because y'all don't know who he is. But the moment somebody, uh, uh, I mean, got like, like, you know what I mean, somebody known on the track, like, oh, y'all wanna listen to this. But I mean, like, but Ryan Fest, but Ryan uh, Fest ain't from around here though. But it don't matter. It, it, you got somebody to come to a party and perform. Oh, okay. You're just saying was niggas. Dope. Was, like okay. that song was dope, Brandon. It was a dope song. It's a dope song, yeah. And they still boo. They boo like this boo real loud. And I'm talking about collective boo, like the whole crowd was boo. But the minute they heard Kanye voice, it was like, oh man, oh, let's stop going and see what Kanye was saying. Like this shit was just stupid, man. This man was on stage, really performing, had the energy and all that. I'm sitting there looking like, oh shit, like you know what I mean. So when it comes to shit like that, what do you think it is in Virginia that's making motherfuckers act like that? Like I said, I understand it from a battler's point of view because it was some battle rap shit. Like, I know how to dance around it. But, so from... It's, the, from it's the like thing, a brand. It, 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 like, you hate first. Okay. They collectively come to a, a... Like, the people come to an agreement, oh, this person is somebody. We all like him. Nobody has their own brain in like no, well, some people have their own brain, but like you go to like if you're in a battle, you can see who doesn't have their own brain. So they have, they're not gonna pick what they wanna like. They are scared to like what they wanna like. Yeah, cause uh, like no, like, no, no, no I think it, rapper, huh? you know, one of the things I think it is that I've noticed is uh, in Virginia we use fan as an insult. So I think everybody's afraid to be called a fan. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So it's, it's been plenty. Cause I I don't go by that because it's been it's plenty of times like if I hear somebody not like them because of how lopsided it is as far as getting love in Virginia, is I walk up to them and I'd say like, hey, I'm a fan. I like what you did. I'm a fan. You know what I'm saying? That's like the first thing I say like, hey, I'm a fan. I like what you did. This is what I like. You know what I'm saying? Where can I find your music? You know what I mean? And all that stuff. Uh, cause, yeah, that's, that's like a Prano. Like you know what I mean? First time me and you heard him. Oh yeah. He went crazy. He, Ran up on that nigga. I, nigga, who are you? I, I, I get turned up all the time. Like, yo, when you got some new music, let me know. And he always inbox me. Like, know what I mean? Always inbox yeah. me his new music. Yo, listen to this. I mean, he'll inbox me like a, some songs. Or he'll just inbox me something he was doing in the studio. And I'll listen to him. Hey man, you um, like, you hear that? You hear that joint he got with the other dude? He like he he made a whole mixtape with somebody else. It was like the black tape or some shit. That shit tight. Yeah, but none, like it's so like in Virginia, people are so scared to like be fans. You're right about that. Like, I mean, just like so be supportive. Like, I've seen like like my one of my homeboys like promote his show. He's like, yo, I'm performing tonight, and then like the show will come up, and it's only one or two of us that came out to support him. We'll go to people's house after that, and people around there they'll be like, oh, your show was tonight. Oh, I forgot, man. Then why you ain't call me? Like. What? Are y'all serious? Like, how can you forget? Like, I mean, what's your boy? But I bet when he first, but I bet when he first announced that he had a goddamn show, everybody was, man, I'm coming, I'm gonna be there, damn right. Yeah. <laughs> but then you, like, oh, damn, this shit was tonight. Man, we so busy smoking and shit. Like, that's all they they care about is smoking. Shit is stupid, man. Like nobody wants to be. Like I was always supporting Ryan. Right, yo, you were damn who it was. Like yo, I'm coming. Like, you have to tell, like, you know, you had a battle, you don't come. Like, people hit me up, you know, I got a battle for me here, you know, I'm coming. Like, shit, motherfuckers hit me up for ride. Like, yo, you, can I ride with you? Yeah, you can ride with me, let's go. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Word up. But niggas just, like, can't, like, get it out of their mind that they just need to like who they want to like. They scared to show that they support this certain person because they afraid everybody will say, oh, he's whack. Yeah, it's because yeah. another thing that I've noticed, like, it seems like, especially, because uh, like I said, I can only speak for 757 because I don't really, I don't really mingle when I go other places, <laughs> but it really seems like another thing is like, it seems like, like there's this thing where Americans are known for just wanting to be first, but it's like, it seems like in Virginia and 757, motherfuckers are afraid to be first, like nobody wants to be the first one to fuck with it. Is this, am I making, that make sense? Uh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Hmm. Yeah, I knew it was another problem with, like, 
you go like I'm gonna stay on the battle topic you brought up. It's like when people come from out of town, they come as a unit. There ain't no when well, we came to support him or like he come as a unit. When I mean, people used to come from North Carolina, them niggas paid like thirty deep as a unit. Come from New York, them niggas came in a van as a unit. Or come from Jersey, them niggas came deep. When you leave from Virginia, them niggas come in groups like Okay, I'm only here to support him. I'm only here to support him. After he battled, I'm leaving. Uh, like, damn. Like, we done been to battles where, like, these niggas that came from wherever, and they all supported each other on stage. No matter who was on stage. If they was from Carolina, we all on stage. Like, you know what I mean? We done been to battle where these niggas beefing with each other inside the battle from Virginia. They beefing with each other. Why? I mean, like, but let's, but let's not act like we, we never. Let's never. Let's not act like we have. We never went out of town and seen the unity, though. Like I can, we we've seen that happen where niggas is from Virginia. Like, oh, you from Virginia? We on stage. We we've seen that happen too. Yeah, you know what I mean. But we seen it happen. Seen the division. Home, like, seen the division more than the unity. But the unity has yeah. happened. Yeah. The division comes first. Like you made the thing is like they thrive off the division. Like, they don't, they don't want to be, like, we will never be, like, on some unity type shit. Like, it, it'll never be that. They got to hate first. Like, nah, that nigga battle, man, we outside on the smoke break, man. Fuck that nigga. Even out of town. They don't want to put to push you out of town. You put the show, like, no, man, yeah, we can't deep up in this motherfucker. Uh-uh, y'all niggas is goddamn, you know what I mean? We can clearly tell y'all niggas is decent. Y'all don't get along. Like, we can fight y'all niggas right now. Y'all ain't gonna help. Like, fuck out of here. That shit's stupid as hell. And I've been like, I mean, I've been up here and, like, niggas been hating on me. Like, saying, yo, oh, you don't come back to Virginia no more. Like, I'm always, I was here, up here a week and I came back to Virginia. But like, I mean, like, that know. shit is uh, expensive too. <laughs> Yeah, like, all right, brother, we at the uh, time limit. It was a good episode. Appreciate <laughs> you hollering at the brother. All right, brother. As right, so we go ahead and wrap this on up, this has been another episode of uh, We Ain't No Stupids. And uh, it feel kind of weird to do the outro without moving. So, uh, yeah. Deuces. Vacation enough, I was playing too much. I free agent it up on Jamaican. I puff rolling papers, I'm stuck. By agar my dosi, I made it get up. I've been caking enough, like I'm baking too much. And my apron is yuck. They like save me a cut, but the way it's set up, these clippers ain't free and that blueprint is due. I can't save you a cut. They be hating too much. You mighty mouth niggas be saying too much. Low key when I'm driving that red, white, and blue. And them boys in that blue try and patriot you up. I don't play with them cuffs. Uh that's that shit I don't like. I was G before likes on IG, you got likes. Cause you feeding them hype. And they greedy tonight, you can't see what I sight. But I sight what you see. Like I'm Gucci Yoli, I got Gucci and V. ERS to the ace. Or that's AC and E, shit is A, B, and C. Some don't make it to T. Some don't make it to G. Daddy put him in mama. And she been in for daddy. They created the G, that creation was me. And I got it on lock. I created the key and my sign is a Pisces. And them bitches got scales Trying to weigh me a key that was D-O-P-E Don't you P-O the G Cause she can get dirty, gets P-O's and P I'm the guy to this shit That make you P-O-P-E's uh. to the money.
Fucking these hoes, hopping. Sipping that drink. I'm way too thrown, hopping. Hitting these licks. I'ma hit a few more, hopping. Winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. They say I've been on the road. Whoa.